Hi, Eva. What would you like to work on? Hi, guys. I would like to work on my nerve inflammation in my neck and shoulders. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you rate it? Right now, it's probably about a 7, but it gets worse with activity, driving, working on my laptop. It goes to like a 9 or 10. Okay. Um, how would you... Uh describe the sensation is it burning is it pinching is it electric sometimes it's burning sometimes it's cold sometimes it's pins and needles but most of the time it's this burning sensation neck and neck and shoulders sometimes it goes to extreme cold as well and um, sometimes it shoots down my arms um, but most of the time it's it's a burning yeah mm. okay all right so let me just drop into your energy field. Let's correct your polarity. One to level one to nine and one to five. So three four one percent to zero. Okay. Well, it sounds kind of obvious, but the first thing I'm going to clear from you is uh, lifetimes of being burned alive. Right. Ten hundred thousands. One two three down to zero. Treat them all in perfect order with respect and do a massive change history in your systems, chakras, organs, meridians, subtle bodies, mind, body, spirit, soul, conscious, subconscious, unconscious. Okay. The other thing is being tied up to feels like wooden crosses. There's some kind of like public humiliation going on. So let's <clears throat> ask you super conscious to find those lifetimes down to zero. Okay, let's also clear from you negative experiences lifetimes with witnessing public executions and hangings. It happening to people you knew and also family members. Uh, yeah. 10,100 millions from two down to zero. And then they're also showing me a medieval prison. So let's clear any kind of torture that happened in that lifetime down to zero. Okay, now show me like a prison camp, but it's like medieval prison camp. It feels like you witnessed a mother uh, being tortured in front of you. You're around five or six years old. So I'm going to ask you super conscious to find that lifetime, treat it in perfect order with respect and do a massive change history in your system, chakras, organs, meridians, subtle bodies, mind, body, spirit, soul, conscious, subconscious, unconscious. And we're also going to, clear negative experiences lifetimes of being hit in the back of the head hit um, from behind in the back of the neck and also uh just see like a wooden almost like trunk being shoved into the upper back of you and then there's also something about a foot going a foot kicking you in the upper back so let's uh, ask you super conscious to find all of those lifetimes Treat them all in perfect order with respect and do a massive change history in your system, chakras, organs, meridians, subtle bodies, mind, body, spirit, soul, conscious, subconscious, unconscious. Okay, so show me a lifetime of you being like throttled, like strangled. So I'm going to ask you super conscious, find that lifetime. And lifetimes that resemble that in energy, frequency, tone, vibration. Let's clear all of those down to zero. And then you know, and then the neck is about speaking your truth, being silenced, right? It's also to do with flexibility, right? So we need to clear lifetimes, including this lifetime, being silenced, being shut down, swallowing your truth or swallowing your opinions, swallowing your emotions, yeah, we need to clear all of that from the throat. 
not being able to speak your truth. Uh, I see eggshells, so walking on eggshells around someone, right? It feels like a family member, uh, parents, right? So walking on eggshells with cleared back from you. And then also, they are showing me a lifetime of you being in a hospital, bandaged up uh, quite a few places. So it seems like you had a lot of broken bones. It feels like your body was almost, almost completely shattered. Not completely, but I'd say 70%. So I'm going to ask you super conscious to find that lifetime, treat it in perfect order with respect. Okay, delete that from you. So the shoulders is to do responsibilities and burdens, right? So we need to clear you of your uh, mother's burdens and responsibilities, your father's burdens and responsibilities, responsibilities and burdens that you have experienced from conception to now into the future. And also specifically, they're telling me like you, when you were a child very early on, you had to take care of other people's emotions. Does that resonate with you? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So you had to really uh, almost like put your emotions and your needs to the back and, and someone else was the star of the show. It feels like you were not the main character. You were like a, almost like a background player in your own, in your own movie, right? So we need to clear all of that from you as well. Uh, we also need to clear you know, the shoulders is linked to the lungs, right? So we need to clear grief. We need to clear sadness. We need to clear isolation, depression, right? From the lungs and from the shoulders, right? There is some kind of compression that's happening as well. So I'm gonna ask you super conscious to find lifetimes when you were compressed or crushed, okay? Find those lifetimes, treat them all in perfect order with respect and do a massive change history. And then the nerves is about, you know, like who's getting on your nerves, right? <laughs> What's getting Literally. on your <laughs> Yeah, there are people <laughs> getting on your nerves. There are things that are getting on your nerves. And this is why we've got to be really careful when we say, you know, this is getting on my nerves and that's getting on my nerves or you're getting on my last nerve. We've got to be careful when we say, this is the pain in the ass, that's a pain in the ass, this is a pain in the ass, you're a pain in the ass. But, you know, the cells are always listening to what we're saying, okay? So I want you to just be conscious of not saying those things, yeah? This is getting my nerves, you're getting my nerves, he or she's getting my nerves, yeah? And not <laughs> Sounds saying, familiar. <laughs> and, and not saying she's a pain in the neck and he's a pain in the ass and this is a pain in the ass and because you know we, we create the pain right yes. this is poisonous everything's poisonous even if it's true we've got to stop saying that these things okay oh yeah and the other thing that people love to say is i'm dying oh that's killing me oh that's killing me oh that you know even if it's joking the body doesn't know the difference, okay? So just yeah. be conscious of what you're saying, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna ask you super conscious to clear negative experiences of lifetimes of working as a caregiver, caretaker, a nurse, right? Taking care of other people. And again, feeling very overwhelmed and sometimes uh, kind of like downtrodden with other people's problems, okay? Find those lifetimes, let's clear those. And then I'm seeing a lifetime of you being electrocuted, but it feels like you're in like water. So I'm gonna ask you super conscious to find that lifetime, treat it in perfect order with respect. Let's clear that down to zero. Okay, uh, they're showing me a lifetime when you're in a wheelchair. I don't know how you end up in the wheelchair, but let's just clear that lifetime and the accumulative negative effects of that lifetime from you. Okay, the sinuses is uh, coming up. This feels like there's some kind of like stagnation or blockage in the, in the yeah. um, sinuses. And usually what's stuck in the sinuses is, is 
spite, you know, spite for a someone, parent, family member, something, system, right? So we need to clear the spite from your sinuses. And also there's something about people who are fake or insincere or liars. You, you seem to have like this mm, knee-jerk reaction against them. Yeah. Right? So whoever has lied to you before and you caught them and there was this disgust or disapproval, let's clear the negative effects of that from your sinuses, okay? And then also not being able to trust people, not being able to trust someone in what they say or not being able to trust that this person this person's words matches their actions. There's something about that we need to clear from your sinuses, okay? And then being on defense as well, being on guard, being on defense, we need to clear that from the sinuses. And there's something about, oh my gosh, the audacity of this person. The audacity. Yeah, I know you're being totally fake. I know you're completely lying. The audacity. Right, that's stuck in the sinuses as well. So we need to clear that from the sinuses. And there were lifetimes of being very sick in bed with the flu. And we need to clear those lifetimes. Okay, lifetimes of having viruses, but not really having any solutions about how to get rid of the viruses and just having like really long delayed residual effects from having viruses, to punch them to down to zero. <clears throat> I'm seeing bats and I'm seeing like a, like a web in specifically like a farm barn, a, a barn on a farm. So that's whatever that is, let's just clear that. And clear negative experiences in lifetimes with being a winged creature and or negative experiences in lifetimes with winged creatures. We need to clear that from you as well. And we're just going to light up the neck and the shoulder area with a beautiful, brilliant, bright white light and some chromium light. And let's just zoom into that area. And we want to clear lactic acid buildup from that area. Um, there's something about being frozen in a morgue type situation. Let's pull that out of that area. Uh, okay, I'm seeing like bodies and body bags. It doesn't quite feel like it's on this planet. So I'm going to pull that out of that area as well. And then I see lots of seeds sprouting. Like it's speeding up the seeds. Again, doesn't feel like it's on this planet. Let's pull that out of there. Something about jump rope, pull that out of there. Something about basketball, pull that out of there. And let's also clear negative experience lifetimes being an athlete and being injured. Let's pull that out of there as well. Okay, Ava, how does that feel now? So much lighter. <laughs> I feel like a weight's been taken off my shoulders. <laughs> Good. So how would you rate the, the pain now? Zero. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. 
That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs>